Hey, my name is Cherie and welcome to my fashion and style channel. I'm about to get ready to film some videos. So I have to do my makeup and my hair and I thought this would be an interesting video for me to just show you my process and how I get ready to film. But I also wanted to talk about how YouTube has changed my life within the three months that I've been consistently posting videos and shorts. So if this is something that you're interested in, keep on watching. So firstly, I want to apologize for my poor eye contact. I'm probably going to be looking at the mirror throughout most of this video or looking at the products that I'm using on my face only because I'm doing two things at once. So hopefully you understand. <laughs> Firstly, I want to kind of acknowledge when I started posting videos again on YouTube. Back in December 2023, I did Stylemas where I was posting daily outfit inspos that I kind of generated using Pinterest photos. I only made it to about day 17. My goal was to do 25 videos. But I think I made it to day 17 or day 18, I believe which was great progress for me because I do work full time. I also have a part time job. So posting videos daily and also working can be a lot of work. So that's pretty much how I started back posting on YouTube. I also wanted to kind of change my niche, I guess. In the past, I was posting beauty videos where I was mostly doing makeup. And at the time that was true to who I was, but ever since like the pandemic, I just haven't been putting as much makeup on. I feel like I haven't been keeping up with like the newer products. But yeah, that's pretty much why I had stopped posting on YouTube to begin with. It was a, a mixture of pandemic and just a change in lifestyle. So when I decided to come back on YouTube, I knew that fashion was something that resonated the most with me right now I've really been trying to work on my personal style and just wear the things that I like to wear in a very creative way and those are the types of videos that I am posting now overall it's been going very well for the most part there are times where I feel like oh I would like to post more but being that I don't have tons of time because I do work it's kind of challenging to post on the consistent basis like I was in December, you know? Like that was a lot and it took a lot out of me. So I knew that wasn't something that I could uphold for a long period of time. I'm, I'm kind of happy with my progress so far. So lately, I've been trying to get at least one video up per week. I also have been trying to do shorts on the weekly basis, at least two or three. I feel like I can do a lot better when it comes to creating shorts. So that's just a little update on my YouTube channel and where it's at right now. As for how I've grown over the past three months, it has been three months, right? And overall, I feel like the progress in my channel has been really, really good. There are so many things that I've learned over the past three months when it comes to creating videos that I don't know I don't feel like I paid attention to these things in the past and now I kind of do because I do want to grow my channel like I naturally want to see progress in it I want to do well at it the first thing that I feel has improved is how I show up on camera when I first started back in December I was so nervous to even stand in front of a camera and talk, like the edits were terrible. I would be stuttering and stopping and looking up in the sky and it just made editing so challenging because I wasn't very secure on camera. It can be a weird thing, you know, especially when you're first starting out. I am essentially in a space by myself talking to an audience but the audience isn't necessarily in front of me you know i have to edit and it just it's a weird thing to be doing i'm, I'm talking to myself <laughs> that can feel a little strange and 
I think that's what I was experiencing when I first started. But now, yes, I still get nervous. Even right now, I feel very nervous about being this close to the camera. I haven't been this close to the camera in probably years since like my last makeup tutorial or something. But I definitely feel more comfortable with communicating my thoughts on camera. Another thing that I have progressed in is learning the SEO, right? The search engine optimization. I didn't even realize that was a thing back when I was doing YouTube videos years ago. I kind of just posted my videos. I really didn't think too deeply into maybe the title or what I'm putting in the description box and the types of tags I'm using. So these are all the things that I kind of have to think about and keep in my mind as I'm editing these videos or as I'm coming up with ideas to create for my channel. That's very new to me and I do feel like over the past three months I have become a little bit more comfortable with putting information in my description box. I can definitely get better about that because I know I don't put enough information in my description box but I do feel like I've improved in that area. Also creating and finding tags. You know, if you are someone who is trying to grow your YouTube channel like myself, you are gonna realize that your tags are important. What type of title are you using, you know? As for the title, I know a lot of people, like there was a time where titles were very clickbaity, so they would say things that kind of jog the viewer's attention and then when you get on the video it kind of has nothing to do with what the title was about i'm not really into that because i would prefer to create a more organic community where people are clicking on my video because it's something of interest to them and i do believe that that's the type of response i've been getting on my channel like even though i don't have thousands of views i do feel like the people who watch my video is actually clicking on my video because they're interested in the topic or the thumbnail interests them or the title, right? It's not because it's like, ooh, that looks like messy content, let me watch it, and then they see me just putting on clothes, you know? Another thing that I had to kind of evolve from or grow in is like comments. Over the past three months, I did receive negative comments and that in the past, I, I've never received negativity on my channel like that. Well, not that I've seen, you know? I feel like I would have seen it if it was posted on any of my videos. So I haven't experienced that before. And this go round, it feels like the more views I get, the negativity is coming. And I'm dealing with the negative comments, just how I deal with negativity in my everyday life. I am essentially ignoring it because <laughs> who cares? You know, like you're over here on my channel and you are commenting something negative about me. I, I don't even, I don't know you, you don't know me, but you feel the need to say something negative on what I'm doing. That's kind of confusing, but I guess it is what it is. People tend to live very miserable lives and they want other people to be miserable with them. So how I've been dealing with that is I just delete the comment depending on what it is and what it says. You know, I'm just gonna delete it. I'm not gonna engage in negativity. Do you guys see this friend that I have growing on my face. It is a combination of stress and bad news. Something else that I've learned from being on YouTube is you kind of have to do research, right? Because there are times where I want to post a video about a certain topic and you have to do some research. Research is going to really benefit you. And what I've learned from doing research is there aren't a lot of women or men out there kind of doing what I'm doing. And I don't want to say that because obviously I, I don't see every single video, but just based on my research and what I've seen, I just don't feel like there's content out there that's resonating with the type of videos that I'm creating. And I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing because I would like to find someone who is 
working on personal style like I do see a lot of fashion videos I see like try on hauls I see um, like the get ready with me videos the declutter and clean out my closet videos so I have kind of been tapping into those spaces as well because discovering your personal style I don't see a lot of creators doing that and I'm like okay is this something that maybe people aren't searching for is it something that people aren't really interested in I don't know but research is definitely important I do use a uh, vid IQ to do some research on topics that I can create videos on and it has been super beneficial it also gives me some title ideas so if I am trying to find a title that would best fit my video, vidIQ kind of helps me out with that. This is a very, very, very basic face. <laughs> so another thing that I've learned is it takes a lot of prep work sometimes to create videos. Sometimes I would see creators and I'm like, oh wow, that looks like something that I can do. Like I would find an idea and maybe I would want to uh, recreate that idea. And when you think about what is needed to be done before executing a video, it can be a lot of work, right? Because I'm standing here in front of the camera, but I still had to think about what I wanted to talk about, scripting. I don't have a script in front of me, but sometimes I do have a, a little bit of a script where I have talking points more so, not like a word for word type of script. And it kind of helps me organize my thoughts when doing a video so that I don't forget the information that I want to share. Also, my appearance. By me creating fashion and style videos, I feel like my appearance is kind of important, right? I don't always want to come on camera with frizzy hair. Sometimes I have, you know, I have come on camera looking a little fuzzy. <laughs> And that's not ideal, but it was just realistic to me in that moment. I don't want to come off too polished because that's just that's just not me as a person, but I don't want to present myself like I don't care either. So me doing my hair, getting my hair prepped, letting my braids dry before taking them out so they won't be frizzy, doing my makeup, what am I going to wear when I'm starting the video? If I'm styling outfits, like what outfits am I creating? Uh, what is the thought process behind creating these outfits? How is this video going to benefit someone? Like why would they want to watch me style a uh, oversized white shirt? Like is that something people are going to gravitate towards? So these are all the things that I have to think about beforehand, before even starting the filming process and then when I get to the filming process I have to make sure the lighting is good can you see me right what is going to be in my background right there are times where I'm filming and there's like maybe some hangers or something on the floor that doesn't make for a pleasant background so I would get upset with myself and I would go and try to re-record certain parts of a video so that those hangers aren't just sitting on my bed in the background, you know what I mean? So right, there's lighting, there's the background, right? There's also sound. This reminds me, there was a video that I created and it was pouring down rain and outside. It was like thunder and lightning. And I'm filming the video like it's not a big deal. It's just raining outside. It's perfect weather to film. I have great lighting, whatever. And then I go to edit the video and all I hear is rain. So then I'm like, oh. I try my best to kind of minimize the sound, the background sound. And you can do that in editing software, but it didn't sound right. So I had to throw that video away. 
and I didn't even go to re-record the video because I was so upset with myself. But of course, it was a learning lesson at the time, and now I know that, okay, I, I need to pay attention to all of these things. So creating these YouTube videos have definitely changed the way I think about how my videos look, how I'm creating the videos, all the prep work that goes into it. It's not an easy task, it really isn't. So now when I see people saying like, oh, I, I'm a full-time YouTuber, in my head I'm like, oh, what a simple job. But it's really not that easy. It isn't. And I can only imagine like real beauty creators, like the beauty creators that I used to watch back in the day, like Jackie Ina. She probably had, of course she had a studio, right? And now when I watch her videos, I have a different level of appreciation for her videos. Cause it's like, wow, there's a lot that goes into this. It, it really is. It's not just turn your camera on and start talking. There's just so many levels and layers to creating a YouTube video. And I also don't want to come off as if I'm complaining. I am so happy with my progress that I've made on YouTube. The responses I have gotten from my channel have been really, really good so far. There's been amazing people who commented. People in my life have told me that my videos are good and I'm doing a good job. And you know, like I think my videos are good, but it's always nice to hear others say it. And it, it kind of, it makes you feel good, obviously. <laughs> well, it makes me feel good. <laughs> But I think I'm doing an amazing job so far. If you are someone who is interested in starting a YouTube channel on whatever topic you want, I would say just do it. You know, it may be nerve wracking, especially posting like that first video. It's okay post the video, or if you don't wanna post the video, just start filming yourself. Film yourself doing whatever it is your, your niche is, whether it's cooking, clean with me videos, beauty videos, fashion videos, finance videos, whatever your niche is, just start filming yourself while you talk about those things. Pay attention to the lighting. Pay attention to your background, what's behind you, and if you are not familiar with backgrounds and lighting, just do a YouTube search. I've learned everything I know so far about YouTube from YouTube. Like I have been just searching on YouTube different things like what should I put in my background? That is a YouTube search and there are videos about it. When you're editing, editing is a whole different beast, right? You can literally go on YouTube and search how to edit my YouTube video, software for editing YouTube videos. And you're going to come across tons of creators who are doing just that and they are doing an amazing job at it. I'm going to link some of the videos that I've watched down in the description box and these videos helped me with creating my videos and creating better content. So I definitely want to share those videos with you and hopefully they'll benefit you in how you create your videos in the future. I really hope that this video inspires you and pushes you to create your content, create your YouTube videos, and post them because over the next two to three months, you are going to see progress and you're going to be proud of it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. <laughs> Let me know how I did with my hair and makeup today. I'm feeling the makeup, I'm just not feeling the hair like that, but it's okay. See, that's the thing. My hair may not be perfect, but I'm still gonna create the video. <laughs> messy hair and all. I hope you enjoyed this video and I cannot wait to share my new fashion and style videos with you. I hope you come along for the ride and I will see you in my next one. Peace.